Hi, Adrian at Graphics834. I published a little video on Facebook last night of the rigging for the tank trucks. And it's prompted a few questions from various different sources. So I thought I'd do a little video to show how I've got it rigged. And then you can see how I get it to move forwards and backwards. How I get it to respond correctly to rotating and how it can travel in all different directions. Okay, so let's have a look. So let's take a look. Um, let's hide some layers so we can see what we're doing. Lift arms, cab, bucket, on the whole dog And I'm just going to hide this one element here so we can see what's going on behind there. As you see, everything's driven by helpers, so it's the helpers that are rigged, not the geometry with the exception of the tamp track because the path form, defined, uh, path form binding is wired obviously at the percentage to the position of the global helper so when the global helper moves the path form binding will increase and the tank track will go round um, and so what it's actually measuring is an exposed transform for each side each one is done independently relative to let's have a look it's exposing this node relative to a static reference point there so the further this one gets away and wide from there the tank track will rotate round um, they're parented to the global so And as the global moves, everything else moves. Um, this static doesn't help, doesn't move. And so what it does do is as it rotates, there's an orientation constraint on this. So it's only ever measuring the Y. If we're moving the local. And so we're still measuring the Y distance. And so when that rotates round, we're still measuring the Y distance and they continue to work. Now, as you can see, these are offsetting when it rotates because as that rotates, the rotation is wired to the position here. So as we rotate clockwise, the left one moves forward and the right one moves back. And when we rotate counterclockwise, the left one moves back and the right one moves forward. One of the questions I got was, does it work on an incline? Well, yes, because it's only ever referencing the Y, when we move, we work on an incline. And so if you want to drive your bobcat up a hill, and then rotate and then along and turn and carry on driving it will always just keep going obviously the more you turn the further those helpers are going to get away but as long as you're not pirouetting and doing some sort of bobcat ballet that shouldn't really pose a problem how far those get away from the original static helper and the exposed transforms.